Good morning, everyone. To those who are watching this service over the internet, good morning, hello, and good evening. We give a tithe offering from all the offerings we have collected. Now, let's offer this tithe, tithe offering of 88,300 yen from November 7 to November 13th. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for meeting the needs of our church. We now give a tithe offering of 88,300 yen to other churches. Please bless this and use this. I pray that thank you for meeting all our needs at all times. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Good morning, and once again. This coming Saturday in Nakano Pore Pore a Theater in Higashi in Nakano. It's close it's next to Higashi Nakano station. The movie about Gunpei Yamamuro will appear and this will this will be released for about two weeks in the theater. And this movie is supported by Salvation Army. So this movie is biblical. And we are given by the Lord a vision to uh, produce a movie for evangelism. Now let's watch a preview of this movie. に育って新島先生は亡くなりましたが、新島先生を導きくださった神が生きています。僕はその精神の世界で人の役に立つって決めたんです。誠に誠に私は今神のおかげでここにいるのでございます。あなたは初めて私によって神に導かれた方です。身も霊
Thank you. I believe that a movie is an important means of media that the Lord is going to use for His work. I encourage you to go and watch this movie. For me, uh, Another theater in Shinjuku is too far f for me, but the Lord has uh, prepared the theater in Higashi Nakano, which is close to my home. So I believe that the Lord wants me to go and watch it. Now let's watch one minute video.皆さんこんにちは。今日のテーマは裁きです。聖書には全ての人は死後に裁きを受けることが書かれています。まず、ノンクリスチャン、つまり神を信じないで死んだ人々の裁きは千年王国後の白い溝の裁き、すなわち最
。どうもありがとうございました。We are now before the times of the tribulation, and through the book of Revelation, God clearly tells us what is going to happen. The, the, tri the tribulation will last for seven years. In just the middle of this period, rapture will occur, and, and then Uh, when the tribulation times is over, Jesus will return, and then the millennium will start, and after the, the millennium, New Jerusalem will descend to, from heaven. As Jesus said in the Gospel of John, Jesus uh, we prepared home for us. This home means heavenly Jerusalem, New Jerusalem for us. Jesus will return on Mount of Olives after seven year tribulation, and then millennium will start. Uh, when I stayed in Jerusalem, some young, young girls in, on our team They stayed in a sweet room. The hotel that where we stayed is one of the best hotels in Jerusalem. I didn't stay in a sweet room, but there was another room that I wanted to stay in. This is the room from where I'll be. I can see Mount of Olives and the Temple Mount, both. Jesus returned. Jesus ascended to heaven from Mount Olives, and he will return on Mount of Olives. And together with Jesus, all the saints will also return, and heaven will open there. So we can guess about where it is. So from my hotel room, I was able to look at that. Place. So we will also return with Jesus, and then the millennium will start, and we will live in those 1,000 years with God, and toward the end of this period, Satan will be released again. And then the judgment, God's judgment, the last judgment. On the Lord's white seat, we start, but this is it has nothing to do with us Christians, because uh, we believe that Jesus died for our sins on the cross, so we'll never be judged. So this is wonderful. Let's give thanks to God for that. Now, uh, this judgment is, will be for non-Christians, but it's not that Christians are not be are not judged. Uh, after at the time of rapture, we Christians will also be judged. Uh, we need to repent of our sins, and if you have. Sins that you commit repeatedly, you need to repent well, again and again. But when God judges us, our sins will not be judged, but He will judge us about whether we uh, spend our lives according to God's will, whether we do His will on this earth. Uh, you know, Some Christians they believe in the work of healing, but other Christians don't believe in the work of healing. One is right and the other is wrong. One does his will and the other doesn't his will. God will judge those things too. In the beginning of our church year, 
the Lord showed us that we should have a 24-hour prayer chain. And what we will pray about, we will uh, give thanks to God or, or sing praise to God. Uh, e e either, either this way. And we are now making this uh, chart for this 24-hour prayer chain. And we would like each church to join this. And uh, if you have a time that you can pray, apart from the time that your church says they can pray, you can join as a, uh, a side helper. And, and we will fill this chart. And maybe and in our church, Antioch Church, we will sooner or later have a prayer room. And we will uh, continually pray there in turn. If you are burdened, please join this. And God did a wonderful thing. How many of you saw a wonderful work of God last week? Well, last Sunday in Tokyo Charismatic meeting, about two-thirds of the attendees uh, raised their hands. Even in small things, God gave us his help. I believe that you already see that kind of help by God. I have experienced many things. One of them is that when I took a train, uh, when I had to go to a charismatic meeting in Yokohama, Yokohama, I had some business to do in Shinjuku on the way. So from Shinjuku to Akihabara, I took a train. And why, the reason why I headed for Akihabara was because it was easier for me to get a seat on the train. And from Akihabara, I took another train to Omori. And from Omori to Kanai by another train. While I was sleeping at night, I, twit I twisted my hip, and I had pain in that part of my body. And I prayed to God that I would be able to have a seat on the train. And in Shinjuku, I prayed because it seemed difficult for me to have ha get have a seat on the next train. But I prayed, and then God gave me a seat on the train, and I was able to have a seat all the way. Well, let's give thanks to God with me together. It's not that, it's not always that I am able to have a seat on the train, but recently I've been able to have a seat all the time. And this week I was driven into a corner because I was given too much work. Uh, last week I had holy meetings in Hokuriku area. And I traveled in Hokuriku by car. While I was moving in a car, I couldn't do the work. Of course, I could pray instead. But eventually, I was able to finish writing 
all the articles for, for our newspaper and for our monthly magazine. And on Friday night, after 9 o'clock in the evening, I was able to record a class for men's pastorate and women's pastorate class. And after that, I had a meeting, a check, uh, checking depart for checking department, and for internet in internet committee. And then I was able to uh, shoot a video for the words shortest story in the Bible for our internet. And then the church and the mission requested me to to decide a budget for the next year. And it was too much work for me. And I prayed to God, and the Lord answered me. I am trying to shoulder everything on my on my. I'm trying to take everything on, on my shoulder. The Lord told me to commit those things to, to Him. And I found myself trying to do everything on my own. And I found out that I should pray as the Lord let me. And I pray to God, for example, uh, to shoot a video for the words, words, short story in the Bible. And the Lord answered my prayer, and I was able to make it. Let's give thanks to God. When the Lord uh, wants to do His work, He he wants to fellowship with us. We are able to be touched by God and experience His work, even in a small thing. And I'm a, and so let us experience God's work in even small thing. Uh, praise and worship. The work of praise and worship has been advancing. Yesterday we had a. A J Gospel Live in Ikebukuro. We had a, a, little, a little rain, but this concert was protected. Let's give thanks to God. And this week, on the 23rd, uh, we have a J Gospel Festival on, in Inogashira a Park. Let's pray that it will not rain and we'll have a good weather and warm weather. Like from 11 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the, in the afternoon, many church, church bands will uh, appear. And another opportunity has been given to us to sing, sing a gospel, J gospel in a, a certain embassy. And we are requested to form a choir to sing there too. Then, when the gifts uh, sang praises in an event of Nakano ward, uh, the people related to the Nakano City Hall, they were they were moved because four of the members of the gifts uh, live in Nakano City, and they are again asked to uh, appear in another event in Nakano Ward. Let's give thanks to God. Now we are uh, we've started a new year as a as a church. One after another, God's work has been developing compared to last year. Of course, last year we had a wonderful grace of God, but we are expecting to experience more this year. And we are going to be blessed by God even more. So let's expect God. Today, 
uh, we looked at Mark chapter 11. Verse 22, uh, Jesus said, have faith in God. What does he mean? What should we believe? We should believe that God loves us. We are loved. We are strongly loved by God. God really loves us, and so He wants to please us. He wants to bless us, and He wants to. He wa wants us to lead the best life. One thing I have found out in my prayer is that He wants to give us more than we expect. And God wants us to believe when we have problems and difficulties. Let us believe that God is going to solve our problems. I don't ask you if you, if there was a time that you didn't believe in God. And, and you know, God is with us. And, and that makes a lot of difference. When I was a college student, I was taking a course of psychology in the classroom. It was a classroom where about 150 students were there. And suddenly, I felt God very close. I had a special feeling as if God descended from heaven to this classroom and I felt God speaking and asking me, do you believe in me? And I hesitated, like if I believe in God, my life will become boring. And when I hesitated, I had a feeling that I would get into, a ch into much trouble if I didn't believe in God. So, I decided to believe. And that was my, the great success in my life, greatest success in my life. Well, but that was just the leading of God. And, and why did I think that I would get into much trouble if I didn't believe in God? I used to have a dream in which I was running from a police because I had committed a crime. I had another dream in which I, I, had, wo I had been worried about myself because I had killed somebody because I had wanted to be a novelist, I might have killed myself. I might have had a mental disease. So, really, I, if I hadn't believed in God, I would have had much trouble, but because I believed in God, my life was drastically changed. But, but some people, they don't really experience uh, grace of God. You know, we, we need to experience more grace of God. You know, if we experience more grace of God, we are filled with joy and we are blessed and special blessing will flow from us. So Jesus is asking us, do you believe in that blessing of God? So believing and not believing makes a lot of difference. What about what shall we believe? Verse 24, 20, 
verse 23 says, uh, Go and does not doubt in his heart. It seems like a point is not doubting, but this means not doubting, but uh, this just shows uh, that there is a stage of faith in which we don't doubt. That kind of faith is the faith that believing that what we receive, what we had, what we asked for in prayer. For example, does, is, does that mean that if we ask uh, for uh, 1 billion yen, Shall we believe that we have one billion yen? No. We need to look at another passage of the Bible, the first John of chapter five, verse fourteen. If we ask anything according to his will, the first John chapter five verse fifteen. Now we have we know one condition. If we ask something according to his will. When you pray, if you pray according to God's will, you, uh, God answers you. So, of course, we sometimes we need to seek what God's will is, but the easiest way is that the scripture, the word of God is his will. For example, one scripture says, uh, every, uh, all things work together for those who obey God. We may have, we may fail, we may have problems, but all things work together for our good. If you have any problems and if you make mistakes and you are desperate and you 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 despaired in your life you can apply this scripture in your life even though I'm in such a such situation but because the word of God said that all things work together for the good of those who love him so everything that I'm now experiencing we work out for my good because because the word of God the scriptures are surely the will of God and this passage says about the will of God and confession these are very important means for us to exercise faith When we pray a little longer, let's pray a little longer uh, for healing. There are I have been praying to God and asking God for several things theo theologically that I didn't understand about healing. And I I was asking God about those things in prayer for a long time, but at a certain stage, I changed my confession. Like I said in my prayer, because I prayed for the healing of this disease and healing is in is your will. So I believe that you hear me I believe that this is very important to exercise faith and use confession a long time ago when, uh, uh, a lady came up and said something to Prime Minister Tanaka to cause him to step down from his position. 
as a prime minister, and we call it a word by a word of word of beads stick, sticking. We are now Pastor Nagato uh, uh, suffers from um, pain in his back. Pray for him. Uh, un unexpectedly, Pastor Nagato is now very standing out. When we uh, transit, it in Holland and we were looking for one team member who was missing. And we had a long time with finding her. And we were able to find her. And finally, but at that point, we recognized that Pastor Nagato was not with us either. And when we uh, had church built when we had church services in Kokubunji. And uh, every Sunday we rented a church, uh, we rented a place for our worship service. And at one point, we, we were not able to find any place for church, for worship service for Sunday. And that situation means that we would not be able to have a worship service on Sunday. But, you know, when we are in desperate situation, we will surely be able to see God's solution. But in at that time, we were driven into a corner because the next Sunday, we won't have a place for worship service. So we, the, so, so one Sunday before, uh, before the evening service, we got together and we went forward together at the altar and we knelt down together and we gave thanks to God for this situation. And we confess that uh, God prepared a, worship, a place for worship service for sure. I don't, I'm not saying to you that you should pray like this and confess like this at random. We should do this just according to God's will. Then a wonderful place was opened for us for our church service. God uh, opened a new place and they even they uh, select whether which hall we'd like to use uh, according to its size. And eventually we rented a hall where 1,000 uh, 1,200 people uh, were able to gather together. And that was the biggest Protestant church worship service place in Japan. Because God loves you, God wants to manifest a special blessing for you. Now, let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you will work to each one of us. You turn off your eyes. You turn your eyes off from one certain thing, so you are confused. You need to go back to the Word of God and stand on the Word of God. Until a certain point, you continually prayed, but you quit praying. You should Pray to, to, you should pray, you should keep praying, and, and the Lord will show you. You despaired yourself, in yourself, but your thinking is wrong. You should go to God, and you find a solution in God. Now, let's pray for healing. 
let's repent. Now, then let's seek healing. Dear Heavenly Father, you thank you that you are with us. I pray that you heal us. I command uh, healing um, diseases should go away. I command to our bodies uh, be healed, be healed. You have a, a sore in your tongue, you are healed. You have your back. Uh, you have pain in your shoulders, you are healed, and you have something bad in your eyes, and you are healed. Thank you for your healing. Let's stand. Hallelujah. May the grace of the Lord Jesus and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen.